autumn. My autumn came in like a lion. I spent some of that day in ritual. I love ritual. I always have. As a Catholic, I loved going to Mass on Sunday. And as a Wiccan, I loved ritual. I think that's one of the things that made my transition easier. Um, I'm no longer on either of those paths, but I've carried some of the practices with me. Ritual is one of them. It's not always planned and elegant. Sometimes it's um, messy and primal and spontaneous. The day after my husband and I had our party for the um, autumnal equinox and the second harvest, my father-in-law's health seemed to decline um, rapidly. I held a um, Maybon ritual on the autumnal equinox, but quietly and inside. I felt it was extra important to have a ritual that day. I needed to prepare myself so that I could be there for my family. Ritual prepared me. Uh, that was a tough week for my husband. He had feelings that needed to come out. Anger, pain, sadness. I saw them all. Watching someone you love go through something like that, something that you've already been through, um, the loss of a parent, you know you need to let them get that all out. Um, my father-in-law passed away on the first full day of autumn. I don't remember much from that day. I don't remember what the weather was like. Uh, my father-in-law lived until he was 91 and he was alert and oriented until the very end. He lived a good life. He was a good man. And he was laid to rest last week with a military service. We had over a week to wait for the funeral to take place. In that time, my husband had begun to process the new loss. I know how hard that is. He made plans with friends, and I spent a couple of days at the cabin like I had planned. Um, it was really beautiful. The colors of the leaves seemed to be changing right before my eyes. Um, it was too cold for swimming, so we took walks and a drive around the lake. We had fires and ate comfort food being in nature like that, watching the leaves change, um, it was really good for my soul. I was anxious to get home to my husband though, to be there for whatever he needed. Um, I finished my body restoration course. I'm really proud of myself. I lost just a little weight in those 28 days, but I learned that I'm stronger than I thought, and I'm braver than I thought, and I love weight training. I did not get my October pages in my wellness journal finished, but I'm working on it, slowly. October is a good month, a good month to live slowly. October is my favorite month when the veil is thin and magic comes easier, divination comes easier, connecting with our beloved dead comes easier, crossing comes easier. That is my way to wellness this month. Being a fucking witch, witching, living. People are born, people die, and in between, people live their lives. That's all we have, the in-between. I want to live that in-between so fully that there would be no room for grieving, no room for sadness. I want the in-between to be a celebration whenever possible, celebrating this body I'm using in this lifetime by caring for it, eating the right foods, singing and dancing, living like there is no tomorrow loving like there is no tomorrow, being happy whenever I can. But this month, I will do it all slowly, 
savoring the moments. The ancestors are here to celebrate with me. I can hear them singing. I can feel them dancing. Salmon is coming. Strive to be happy. Like all the time, one night. 